guys. Tying a chubby Chernobyl. This is one of my favorite flies to use when we go up on the snake. Uh, we will spend a lot of time on the South Fork, up in that area around Jackson, Alpine, Star Valley, anywhere up through there. This also finds works good during these, these times. These salmon flies are coming off these local creeks. Um, it's a really good fly to imitate, you know, those salmon, salmon flies coming off, or even your big hoppers and stuff like that. And it's very floatable, so you can drop a little dropper behind it and it holds up pretty well staying on top of the water. So using a olive thread on this one and I got a size number eight curved hook. Um, I just like the curved one on this one. I don't know why I feel like it buoyant's a little bit better, but that's just me. So let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna coat this hook with the thread to kind of help things sliding around. Okay. All right. For the tail, tail's first thing we're gonna tie in. We're using this UV purple, it's almost like a sparkle thread. Um, get a good 10 or 12 strands on it. This is really good, it helps with the, I think it helps give a little bit of flash to the fly. So I'm gonna come back up here actually to the top third of the hook. I'm gonna tie this in along with the body. It ain't gonna come flying out. Okay. All right, I like to leave that tail about the length of the hook too. Trim the rest off. Okay, for the dubbing on this, using an ice dub all brown it's got kind of a uv sparkle in this as well it's a synthetic dubbing so it's a little bit trickier to put on the thread on your bobbin it doesn't stick as well as your normal muskrat hair and stuff like this on your rabbit fur it's a little more i almost feel like steel woolly i guess the best way to compare it so make the body thick, chubby chermobile. So we want to get nice and thick. I usually do about a third of the hook at a time just because this is, this will come unraveled if you try and do the whole thing at once. This fly from fly shop up there just outside of Jackson. Um, we go up there usually a lot in July, August season and those cutthroats just love slamming this on top water. Okay, so I'll leave the tail. All right, next thing we want to tie in is our foam. It's using a thin, actually, two millimeter brown foam. It's a brown, it's a lighter tanned, almost in a brown. Trim this up. So you want it, hang off that back halfway with the tail and right off the front of the body. So that length. We're going to tie in this back section first. Come right here. Secure that in. Okay. Alright. Get a good couple wraps on that. Next thing we're going to tie in is our legs. I'm using a, on this one, a brown, just rubber leg. It's a brown and black spotted one. Darker colors, I also tie it with kind of like a caramel, milky caramel cover. Before I put these in, just to kind of help durability on this fly, I'm, all these junctions I'm gonna put a, just a slight touch of this concrete glue. It's just Loon, Loon Outdoors hard hit. You also get the, uh, you can also get the UV one that dries. You light it up, it's kind of cool. I'm out of that, you'll give me some more. So tie one side in. These are about, I don't know, two inches. These are about two inch long leg pieces. Just get them up underneath the foam. They're gonna be a little wild. It's okay. Okay. Get that in. Next we're gonna tie in 
One on the back tops, I'm using a sparkly merger yarn. It's a light tan. So I make sure it's thick. This is kind of thin stuff. I like to almost double, if not triple fold this over, get a nice big cloud off the back of it. The thing that's nice about this fly too is it's very visible in the water. Okay, fold it over like that. A couple good wraps. And come in here, trim off the excess. And trim this out. There's gonna be a loop in it. Back tail. You want to come out middle of the back tail off of that. And I leave the foam on the back side of this square. I just leave a nice big square on the back. I don't trim that up. We'll trim the front up when we get to it. Okay. Going a little bit more dubbing just to cover that thread up where we wrapped. Not a lot, just, to, just enough to cover it. Okay. All right. Then we want to pull everything back. Bring this up a third way back on the hook. Now, before I lay this foam down, like I do on my hoppers, I'm going to cement the body. Just kind of help hold that foam down in case it gets beat up. It'll help kind of hold it down secure. Okay. Then you're going to come in. Secure that up towards the head. I find on these bigger ones, it seems like I'm using a lot of glue. I'm using very little amounts here and there. But when I do this, it seems like they're holding up longer than when I'm not. It seems when I don't use this glue, they, after three or four big fish, they get eaten apart. I don't even big ones. Those, those cutthroats got teeth on them. They seem to chew them up. So we're going to tie the front leg then. Okay, then we're going to tie in the front post. So same thing. We're going to take our yarn. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it again. Get a nice thick post. Okay, tie that in. And trim off the excess. Just like that. Then we're going to cut the loop. This one I like to bring halfway. I bring it about to the end of the body of the foam. That front one. They're a little longer, but they are fantastic with helping sear hook. This is not a fly you're gonna miss a take on. And it's super buoyant, like I said, so you can drop that fly underneath it and it's gonna hold up pretty well. Okay, now we gotta cover that up. everything back. This is a fun one to try and get all these wiggly legs and get up underneath that head. Okay. And we're going to tie it off. Like I said, make sure you're not going to check your legs here and there. Make sure you're not tying them up. I've done that. It sucks trying to get them out. They usually bust off. Okay, there's that. Make sure all your legs are how you want it. Like I said, it moves a little bit, so that cement's gonna harden. And I trim the head. Maybe look like a top of a grasshopper head. Boom. Just like that. And there's that full circle of the fly. And before I throw it in the fly box, I'm going to hit the bottom one more time with just a little bit more of this glue. I'll pull it all together so along the bottom. And there you have it. Chubby Chernobyl.